is the music recording then Out of the shower to the bedroom to the something fresh. From the bedroom to the studio To the, to the best If your day is blown, we crank to the morn Make sure your sub is on while we playing your song And it's gonna be on We rock three channels up here on this YouTube stream And we always let our subscribers know that they are supreme Hey, to stand by cause we so fly React to the beat cause I'm that guy To move you all night long Why well, I tell you what's happening in this song like, oh. Music make me crazy, baby, do it for me louder Viewers know my cross keep on bumping with the song up I'ma make you sweat until they turn the house lights on At the party at the Music Recording Network What's up, YouTube? How y'all doing? Hey, check it out, check it out Snoop, oh damn it. I was not, I was supposed to stop saying the A, and it was out for a long time, but I'm excited because Dougie Fresh is up on the screen, man. And um, I had the opportunity to actually produce a song. Uh, my band did a song with Dougie Fresh. Um, he was on the song, and then he did this little B side by itself because, you know, he was all that, and we wasn't. But um, I got an opportunity to actually sit down and talk to him and all that stuff. And, of course, that was way before cameras was even on a, a cell phone. Wasn't even no such thing as a cell phone. I think it was a such thing as beepers, but I couldn't afford to get one. But I got one later on, though. But check this out, man. This is um Snoop Doggy Dog, Lottie Dottie, with the Dougie Fresh was the hottest thing on the planet at one time in the hip-hop world man and i got an opportunity to work with him um on two different occasions i was a sound man in new york doing sound and stuff and dougie fresh was on the show so without any further ado my friend <laughs> yeah right he don't even know who i is <laughs> he if i start saying some stuff and telling him all the stuff because it was a aids stop awareness of aids and we did a special and everything and I'm pretty sure he'll remember that. So without any further ado, let's check this bad boy out, man. This joint six minutes. I want to go minutes. back and, and talk about six something minutes, that I did fresh on my first you album. On my <laughs> first record, Doggy Style, I was actually the first rapper to actually remake another rapper's song. Mm. And it, it created a lot of flack from where I come from because the people where I come from thought I should have redid a... Uh, an Easy E song or Ice T song or something that was more West Coast, but I chose to do a song from Slick Rick and um, Dougie Fresh. Hey. You know what I'm saying? You know, and Most and, and the record Most it just definitely. meant so much to me because when I was a kid, seeing them flow and, and go back and forth, and Dougie control the beat and Slick Rick with so much flavor, it was like it was inspiring as a kid to see that. It was all the way to heaven. You know what I'm saying? So. It made me want to redo that because I'm a fan. And anytime I'm a fan of something, I don't mind telling people that I love you and I appreciate you and I want to do your music over. And that's all that was. It was me showing love. And I built a relationship with Dougie Fresh over the years. And me and Dougie became real good friends. And, um, and uh, what I want to do right now, I want to bring Dougie Fresh on stage. I'm mad. Dougie Fresh. Excuse me, Dougie. Excuse me, Dougie. Excuse me, Dougie Fresh, you're on. Uh, uh, on. Uh, uh, on. Uh, uh, on. There you go, y'all. <laughs> Lottie Dottie. Lottie Dottie. Lottie. Dottie, uh, oh, you know what, yo peep just Lottie Dottie, we like to party, we don't cause trouble and we don't bother, bother nobody. nobody, we're just some Lakers who on the mic, uh -huh. and when we rock up on the mic, we rock the mic, right? for all my dogs, keeping y'all in health, uh -huh. just to see you smile and enjoy yourself, cause it's cool when you cause a cozy conditioning, which we create, cause, cause that's our mission. mission, so listen close to what we say, because this type of stuff, Happens every, every day. day. I woke up around 10 o'clock in the morning. I gave myself a stretch. Went to the bathroom to wash up. I threw some soap on my face and put my hands upon a cup and said, a mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall. Uh -huh. Who is the top dog of them all? There was a ruffle duffle. Five, Five minutes, minutes it lasted in the mirror set. You are, you can see it 
Well, that's true. That's probably why we have no beef. So then I slipped off my khakis in my gold leaf. Use all your wobble late because my skin gets pale. And then I grab the file for my fingernails. True to the style on my behalf. I put the bubbles in the tub so I can take a bubble bath. Clean, dry was my body and hair. I threw on my brand new doggy underwear for all the I might take home. I got the Johnson's baby powder and the Polo Cologne. Fresh dressed like a million bucks. Threw on my white socks with the all blue chucks. Stepped out the house, stopped short. Oh no! I went back in. I, I forgot, forgot my Kango. Then I dilly, Sally. I ran through a Sally. I bumped into this girl named Sally from, from the, the Valley. Valley. This was a girl playing hard to get, so I said, What's wrong? Cause she looked upset. She said, Um, oh, She was crying over me and she was feeling blue I said, uh, don't cry, dry your eyes And here comes your mother with those two little guys Her mean mother steps and says to me Hi! Dick Sally in the face and she punched her in the Hi. Punched her in the belly, then she stepped on her feet Slammed the child on the hard concrete The b- was strong, the kiss was gone Something was wrong, I said, what is going on? I tried to break it up, I said, stop it, you sleeper She said, if I can't have none, she can't either She grabbed me closely by my socks So I broke the hell out and I grabbed my sack of But um, they gave chase, they called up quick She put the finger in the face of Snoopy Snoop And said, why don't you give me a play So we can break it down the Long Beach way And if you give me that, okay I'll give you all my love today Doggy, 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 can't you see? Uh Somehow your words just hypnotize me And I just love your jazzy ways Doggy dog, your love is here to stay. And on and on and on she kept on. The been around before my mother was born. I said she up, so I gave her a kiss. I said you can't tap me. I'm, I'm too young, young for you, you, miss. She says no, you're not. Then she starts crying. I says I'm 19. What she say? Stop lying. I says I am. You can go, go ask, ask my mama. mother. And with your wrinkle, I can't be your lover. Until the tick tock and you don't stop. Until the tick tock and you don't quit. Until the tick tock and you don't stop. Until the tick tock and you don't quit. Hit it! I knew y'all was gonna go crazy when we did that. Dougie Fresh! Dougie Fresh was the man. So cool, old school. Your run is short, man. one good looking out for letting a real <laughs> perform on your show. <laughs> Excuse me, I get carried away sometimes. <laughs> hey. hey, he could... You know, he couldn't cuss and stuff, man, but he was cussing anyway, so they had to bloop some stuff out, man. Snoop, hey, this music game is funny, man. Some people never get started. They get started just a little bit, and then they, I mean, the music changes um, so fast, and it's not musical no more, especially in hip-hop, man. The music is not musical no more, and I got to learn to remember that. But Dougie Fresh... He had about four or five really, really good songs that was hits. And then that was it, man. He was just, he was struggling, man, throughout the almost the whole career. So he didn't have enough capital. This is just my opinion. Damn. He didn't have enough capital to reinvent himself. And like Hammer, MC Hammer, when he got broke, he was, oh, I got to do something. He tried to go gangster. He could, he, you know, he didn't have enough capital to push yourself as a, a gangster rapper so to speak everybody knew him with them it was it was hammer time and the typewriter and all that type of stuff 
But Dougie, man, he, he had some skills, man. He had some nice stories that he was telling, man. And it just didn't work in the hip-hop field. Um, the new stuff he was putting out, man. It just ain't go nowhere, you know. But anyway, hey, look here. I'm going to get on up out of here. My main man, Tyson Roberts, asked for that one. Y'all take a light, take it slow. Tell him Mike Cross told you so. Peace out. <laughs> I ain't going to spit on the mic too hard. <laughs>